this tutorial, I am going to create what is known as a half silo with a wrap, a text wrap, and an anchored text object. All right, so I'm going to create what we know, what is known as a half silo, a non-destructive half silo in InDesign. Um, and then we're also going to have a, a text wrap as well as an anchored object. So let's get started. Let's work with the uh, anchored text object. In this case, it's going to be the logo DeLorean. Now, instead of using this logo right here, I'm going to actually extract it from Illustrator and put it in this uh, text, body of text, um, as an object. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go into Illustrator. So I'm going to put my finger on the Option Command key or the Alt Control key if you're on the PC, double click. And what it's going to do is going to open it in its native application, which in, in this case is Illustrator. Go Command A, copy. All right. And now what I'm going to do is come back to InDesign. I'm going to paste this right, right here in InDesign, this object right in InDesign. I'm going to scale it down to about 60%. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it as a, uh, I'm going to paste it in this, this body of text. As an anchored object. So I'm going to take the word DeLorean here, double click on it, and paste the uh, the object in place of the word. And as you can see, as an anchored object, uh, what it did was it, it as InDesign recognized that it was too long to fit on that one line, so it brought it to the next line and it's running with the text. All right, so that's our anchored object. Okay, and that's step one. Okay, next up, I am going to create uh, my non-destructive half silo or silhouette uh, around the front end of this vehicle so that it overlaps the type. So what I want you to do right now, what I'm going to do right now is using the direct selection tool, I'm going to mouse over the image and I'm going to just click on it. When I click on it, you're going to notice that it shows you the entire image. And as you can see in the lower right hand corner is the front end of the vehicle. What I wanted to do is I wanted to come out of that frame and I want to overlap the text so that I could have the text wrap around it. All right, so that's the desired effect. That's what I'm going to try to do. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put a guideline right at the edge of the frame right here. All right. Okay, so that's my guideline right there. Okay. Now, next up is I'm going to use the pen tool to, uh, well, before I, do, before I actually use the pen tool to create the silo, I'm going to select the frame that's right there, all right, and then I'm going to ex extend it out to the right so that it will expose that, that front end of the vehicle. Now, I'm going to use the pen tool. So I'm going to tap on the pen tool. I'm going to zoom in so we can try to get this thing. Uh, let's try to make it as, as, as clean and accurate as we can. So I'm going to start in the lower right-hand corner, put my finger on the shift key, bring it up to the uh, actual air dam, at the bottom of the vehicle. All right, I'm gonna to start to make my silo right here. Okay, and as you'll notice that using the pen tool is the same, it's virtually the same as in uh, Illustrator and even <clears throat> even Photoshop for that matter. Um, you know, you you know, basically, um, you know, it's the uh, the click and drag, and you have to use the handles to be able to to get the kind of curve you want. And because it's non-destructive, we're doing all of this in InDesign and not in Photoshop or Illustrator. So the original image will remain intact, and we're actually going to create this siloed effect uh, in InDesign. So as you can see, this is going to be my last curve right here. All right, uh, I'm just just making sure that the curve itself has um, you know very smooth curve, and it kind of traps that image as best as it can, all right? So I'm doing that with the handles. Again, much like you would do in Photoshop or um, Illustrator. All right, now I'm gonna have a straight path going up to the top uh, or the, the top edge of the frame. So I put my finger on the Shift key and I click. So it goes straight up. Keep my finger on the Shift key and I click. So it goes straight over to the left. Then again, Shift key, straight down to the bottom. Again, shift key, I'm going to actually unite. All right, I'm going to zoom out. So you can see I have this path 
that goes around the frame. Okay, great. Next up, what I want to do is I'm going to go to the selection tool. I'm going to, since I have this, this frame that I created with the, with the actual path, I'm going to go to object and I'm going to drop down to where it says content and I'm going to make that a graphic content. Great. Next up, and you can tell it's a graphic content because it has the X. Next up, using the direct selection tool, I'm going to tap on the actual image itself. I'm going to cut it, which is Command X in on the Mac and Control X on a PC. So I, I actually have this. I cut it out, and it's basically floating in virtual paste heaven, if you will. Then, using the direct, I'm sorry, the selection tool, I'm going to tap on the original frame and delete it. Now I'm going to tap on the frame we created with this with that half silo going around it. And I'm going to go up to edit and I'm drop down to where it says paste into. Now you can see because it remembered where it was, it pasted it right into that spot. I don't have to move anything, it's right where it needs to be. Okay, great. So now we have our image in this silhouetted frame, and we have exactly what we want with this, um, you know, the, the front portion of the vehicle actually poking out of the frame, that effect, if you will. And all this, as I said, is done in InDesign. Lastly, what I want to do is create my text wrap. So what I want to do right now is I'm going to tap on, using the selection tool, tap on the frame that has the image in it. Then I'm going to um, tap on the uh, wrap option. You, you'll see it right here in the uh, uh, strip at the top, the con control strip at the top, or you can say, um, you know, you just bring it up, text wrap right here. All right, and then you're gonna tap on the one that says wrap around object shape. That's the third one in, tap on that, all right? And you want you want it to be the same as clipping, all right? Because you have different option here. We want same as clipping, okay? Now, where it has, and if you notice, you only have one value because basically at this point, um, it doesn't recognize top, bottom, left, right. It's the, It says the whole thing. So you can make the adjustment. I don't want it to sit right on the, on the uh, actual path. I want it to come off nine points. So I'll say P9, all right, that's nine points. And I'll just hit the tab key. And as you can see, and as you can see, it goes all the way around the image top, sides, and then of course the silo portion. And it, it, it brings the text nine points off of the actual edge. So now I have this wrap right here. All right, so now that I've done that, all right, let's preview it and see what it looks like. Very good, very good. Even if I say so myself. So basically, that's how you can um, create uh, a, again, a non-destructive silhouette because it, all of this took place in InDesign. Uh, we actually have the anchored uh, object, uh, which is that uh, DeLorean logo, all right? And all of this we did in InDesign. So hopefully that helps.